you know, it just wasn't their day. But the, the Jets, once again, self-inflicted wounds. You hope that, you know, Quincy Williams is okay. Uh, didn't look good. But, you know, you talk about Gary Wilson, again, showing a lot of grit and toughness. You know, that's how he went over your locker room. He takes a tremendous hit from um, Bell, you know, hurts his ribs and, you know, comes back and tries to help. But when he was out, it was apparent that you had nobody that can create separation between the defensive backs. And, and, and you know, and Joe Flacco could, you know, harass all game. You know, um, you look at Trey Henderson had himself a day not having any sacks the entire season, coming in, racking up three. You know, McDermott has to be better. Fant hopefully is okay. But if they don't have answers at left tackle, I don't care who you put back there at left tackle. You know what I mean? You talk about next week, Blitzberg. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with you, Bart. You talk about, you know, going into this game, the Jets knew to, for them to have the success they wanted, they're going to have to keep Flacco upright. And, they, and, and that, that was proven week one. If you keep Flacco, you know, if he has to scramble or feel like he has to throw off the run, it's going to be a long day. The fact that he was sitting in that pocket, and to Bart's point, he was harassed time after time. And you're talking about a secondary in the Cincinnati Bengals who are a good secondary, and they did what they needed to do. And, that, and you talk about Trey Henderson and the rest of those guys, if they're able to get to Flacco with that four, yep. then the guys can sit back there and, and, and wait for it. And so it, it was ugly up front um, from pass protection. But, I'll, I, you know, it's just one of them games, man. You just got to match the intensity, intensity of the Bengals. We weren't able to do so. It's hard to take down contenders. And I don't care if the Bengals came in this game 0-2. They were in the Super Bowl last year. This roster is a good roster. It's hard to take down contenders when you lose in the trenches on both sides of the ball. The Jets in the first half, their pass rush had nothing going. How many third and longs did the Jets' defense get yeah. Burrow into? And he made a throw because there was yeah. no – it's not the back end's fault. <laughs> well, yeah. well, early in it was, you know, you talk about – you know, you talk about guys going for knockout hits, not securing tackles. That's it. His tackles came out. You know, you talk about well, – I don't know if that was Tyler Board or T. Higgins that was able to spin off a whitehead Oh, boy, yeah. Yeah, you talk about, you know, Joe Flacco again, 52 pass attempts. That's not the recipe for success. No. They have to find a way to establish some type of running game. I know Brees Hall and Flacco missed a huge play early in the game. But even with all that being said, you know, you go back and you talk about the, you know, I know we lost communication for a while and we couldn't see really what happened for, for a brief moment. But, you know, you talk about the Corey Davis, you know, 15-yard penalty. You got to keep your cool yeah. at that time of the game, right? We saw Franklin Myers, you know, you know sometimes doing something selfish. When it, if it's close, you just you just you just let off because you getting a, a hit on a quarterback is not you know more beneficial than getting off the field on third down. And when you're playing a team that's desperate like that to make sure that they go three and zero and three, you have to make sure that you play smart football as well because you know they're desperate. They're going to go all out. You saw the trickery they had with the flea flicker, and then, you know the Jets just have to be smarter. You know maybe they can learn from this, but if they don't figure out an answer at left tackle, I don't care if you have to leave a two tight ends in, you know chipping out. And they did. They left. They tried to help him. It was just Henderson and whoever McDormand was, he yeah, couldn't get McDermott, off the ball. Yeah. It was bad.